Dude, Yay. that is fucking stunning, isn't it? It really is. I'm almost kind of nervous about getting it out of the case because it looks so nice. <laughs> By the way, this is Mayblown from my forum. I call, call him Chris though because that's his name. Should that's my alarm, Chris. It is. Tells me you've arrived. <laughs> so how's your Excellent. guitar? Fucking hell, that's tasty, mate. God damn, it's a weighty beast as well, isn't it? That's all the extra wind that you guys stick into it, that Anderson's written. So, do you want to tell the guys what you did to this? Because a lot of people are oh, you even relicked the head! Yeah. <laughs> that's fucking wicked, mate! Hold right. the guitar, tell people what you did to it, because I think this is one of the night. well, this is probably the nicest Chapman Guitars mod I've ever seen. Oh, bless you, thank you very much. Um, took it to these guys in Worcester, saying, look, I know it's all satin black and it does look really cool. I'd much rather see some wood grain going on, but I like different shades of wood grain. I said, basically, make the top look like a dead leaf. And so he put his head together and he did different shades of brown, a few dark bits, slapped a load of, I think it was acid or something, to give it that crisp, frosted look. And took it to Lance Perkins in Eversham Ware, Eversham Cheshire. Used to be in Rathchild, if you want to get your 80s back combing on. <laughs> and we discussed what we want to do with it, what we want to sound like. I remembered your video for, uh, what was it, the Albino Droid. Yeah. Because I put your video on, I go around the shop, mop up and everything, and I just remember hearing it and going, ah, that's, that's the sound, that's the noise. <laughs> Found out it was an OTT, couldn't buy one anywhere, so I emailed Kent himself and said, give me an OTT. So you got a Ken Armstrong OTT in it? Yeah. Yes, this well, is going Well, his son sound made it. Fucking amazing, mate. Oh, his son made it? His son made right. it, yeah. He said it'd be cheaper if you get Even the Even relic the headstock. Yeah. Well, see, I took it to Lance and said, could you relic this? And he was like, oh, yes, please, because he spends his whole career redoing and nicening up all these yeah. prestigious guitars and doing all this careful work and I just give him that say relic he's like oh yes definitely <laughs> and he went mental uh, scratch play I love wooden guitars black scratch always a winner and we thought let's just stick more wood on it so it's a wooden scratch play a wooden scratch oh, yeah. which has been waxed ebony? black what is it ebony oh it's just mahogany 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 scratch he made a little one for the switch that's a new switch he upgraded the parts so you can still call tap but you got to Switch tap. mute, tap, okay. switch it on, there it again. This, this is the <coughs> ultimate expression to me of what the ML1 and Chapman guitars were about at the time with a blank canvas to do what you want because you've done what you wanted Pretty to this much, guitar. Yeah. And now I think I need to play it. Yeah, there's a wooden note. Fucking hell. And the inside is routed under the pots as well so they sit on the scratch plate. Instead yeah. of making holes in the scratch plate to press the buttons, he thought, sorry, we'll just route it down a little bit more. Wow. And it's all being copper lined as well. Yeah. Check this out. <laughs> Amazing is that. me mate. Do you ever sell this guitar? No. To me? No. I, I would buy this guitar from you. No chance. Thank you. 
you. <laughs> <laughs> let, yeah. it, let it be known that this is the nicest MR1 I've ever played in my life. And really? I, ca I count my own MR1s in this as well. Deadly serious, Chris. This is the best MR1 I've ever played in my life. If you ever need any money, <laughs> as you ever get stuck and you have an illness or a problem with a vehicle and you need to make some money, I will buy this guitar from you. I'm not, I'm not joking with you. This is going in the video. I'm quite serious. <laughs> Like I said, get to work, stressed out, crank it up, open A, yeah, just everything, just all troubles go away. No shit. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. So who did the work for you? Ah, uh, number of guys. There's a guitar shop in Worcester. Yeah. They did the original Dead Leaf Burst. What's the shop paint. called? We should promote them because this is fucking good work. It's on me. Uh, Links, and I can't remember what it is, but Lance Perkins at the guitar studio in Eversham, okay. Pershaw area. He's the one who did the business end, put all the wires and yeah, gubbins yeah, together, yeah, yeah. copper lined it, set it up, relicked it. And with when you much bought this glee. guitar, how much did this guitar cost you? It cost me my guitar that my wife bought me six months prior to owning that one. <laughs> but she was okay with it because, you know, she's been in the room with me like laughing and chuckling to your videos and stuff and she knew that having an ML1... She's a good lady. She's a very good lady. <laughs> having an ML1 was on my to-do list. Now, Chris... I've noticed, and some of the viewers might notice, that you are colourful. <laughs> yeah. Bits of you are interesting to look at, and um, you, by profession, are a tattoo artist. I am indeed. So do you want to just mention the store that you own and run? Why not? The Colour of Magic Tattoo Studio at the old bakehouse, Vine Court, Eversham. Eversham. In Worcestershire. Where we forge things to your body. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you need to be cut, in a uh, special way, you go and see Chris. Turn the camera off. I'm gonna go spaz on this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for bringing this down, man. It's all right. I just want to, the closing shot has to be rusted monkey face. <laughs>